last two years as a working for profit company as a sales associate. In that position, I was responsible for all the sales regulations, lead generation, closing flows. I was also assigned to elevate company standards, achieve sales goals, meet client expectations. During my tenure, I completed various professional and vocation trainings organized by the company, which then So tell me about yourself. Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Hi. I'm fine. <clears throat> fine. Hi, man. Where did you go yesterday? We miss you. Hi, teacher. Sorry, <laughs> my internet is not working yesterday. <laughs> Your internet was not working. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, today we the company is fixing. Really? Great. Great to yeah. know that is they are fixing it. Well, I hope that it can continue like <clears throat> that, right? Yes. Well, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining on time. Um, I would like to ask you, did you watch the video that I sent it to you in WhatsApp? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, what about uh, the other not one? All. Did you watch the video? No, um, maybe. No. I'm sorry, I can do it this day. is a lot of work today. Really? Oh my God! Well, I uh, thank you for for yeah. for watching the video. Then, um, don't worry, it's fine. You can watch it later on, okay? But please watch it later on, guys. Do me that favor, uh, okay. okay? Okay. So, guys, uh, as I mentioned, thank you very much for joining on time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being on the class. We will start with the class right now. And I don't know if you remember, yesterday we have an activity in which you were preparing a two minutes presentation. Do you remember about the two minutes presentation? Yes. yes. Great. Good evening. <laughs> we, Good evening. We didn't finish. You didn't, we didn't finish. finish because uh -huh. you were preparing it. Oh, yes. Actually, right now, uh, I would like to ask you if you finish to complete the sentences. Let me share the screen. <clears throat> All right. So do me a favor no, no, no. for the ones that uh, hasn't finished to complete or unscramble the words to form the sentences. We have five minutes to do it right now. Okay. And then we will do it together. So we have five minutes to finish this, the exercise number five in the page number 12. All right, remember okay. we're talking about will be and could be, all right? 
Um, just as a reminder, we use could, be, and would be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. It's something that is not happening right now or it doesn't happen in the present, but there is a possibility to happen, all right? For example, I will be a great actor and I can help in the sales department. Okay, so <clears throat> that's why we are practicing those words right now. And let's go ahead and uh, try to make those five um, sentences. Let's go ahead and unscramble the words. Unscramble the word from the sentences. I would like to ask you guys, do you happen to have a question regarding would be or could be before practicing? No. Allow me just a moment. I, I don't understand when. Well. You... Could you repeat, please? Hello, Daniel? Oh, Ezekiel. Creo que fue. I don't understand well. Could you repeat, please? Oh, yes, I can repeat. All right, so thank you very much. One moment, because I was starting on the fan. It's very hot here. I was starting on the foot because I couldn't stand that. Well, I stand the, the, the hat, how hat it is. So um, yes, uh, guys, we will work on the page number 12. On the page number 12, there is the exercise number five. This exercise is the one that you were doing yesterday with your peer. So what you will do is that you will unscramble the words to form sentence. I mean, you will order the words here and you will make sentences here. You have five minutes to do it. Why? Because we started to do it yesterday, but we couldn't, con we couldn't continue because of the time. That's the reason we will continue five more minutes to do it right now, okay? Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Ezekiel? Oh, yes. Tell me. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Estoy afuera. No sé en mi casa, entonces estoy ahí. Oh, it's fine. No, no worries, Ezekiel. Thank you for uh for making the effort okay of connecting or joining the class thank you and sorry my camera is keep turning it off Okay, five minutes to do it, thanks.
Guys, did you finish? All right, I believe we will do it together, all right? We will do it together so we can practice, all right? Um, let's see. Thank you, Fatima. Okay, let's see, Fatima. Teacher, I don't know if you made the attendance, but I am here listening. Thank you, Jonathan. No yet. Just help me with your name, please, because it, it is shown as a Galaxy J1. <laughs> please. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm going to put the name. Okay. Thank, Thank you a you. lot. All right. 
So guys, um, you're welcome. Let's go ahead and do it together. Um, all right, let's see. One second. Let me go to the annotate part and we will do it them we will do them together, all right? We will go to the number one. Okay, who can tell me the number one? A volunteer? Could it be me? Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you, Daniel. I, I will try it. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. First one. To study abroad it will be a great opportunity. To study? To study abroad. Abroad, uh -huh. abroad will be a great opportunity. To study uh, abroad. Abroad. It abroad. Will be, right? Will be. Will be, yes, yes. A, a great, great opportunity. 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 All right, very good. There is missing one, right? Yes. What is missing here? I'll do it. Uh, it, it uh, how in, did you it, right? Did how did you do it? Okay. I did it. Mabel, who I wants to hear it. you? It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Okay. Yes, and here we are going to be counting the eight, right? <laughs> sorry. Um, Ezekiel, uh, sorry, Daniel. Daniel, sorry. Uh, yes. El it is missing here, and we yes. cannot put it here. Here, we cannot put it to study abroad. It will be a, a great opportunity because then we're going to be making double subjects. Here we have doubles, one subject, and here we have one subject. So we either say it will be a great opportunity, or we can say, oh my God, it doesn't work with the control X. Or we can say to study abroad will be a great opportunity, either or. So because of the double subject, um, we better say the... I mean, we better fix it in the way Mabel did it, all right? Mabel, could you please repeat? Uh, it's, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. It will be a great, sorry. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you, Daniel, and thank you, Mabel. Thank because you. of the eat, because of the eat, that's what we do it in that way. However, the idea is super awesome because that is a subject, an infinitive active as, acting as a subject, the one that you did. And I really like that structure. So thank you very much, guys. What about the number two? Who wants to help me with the number two? I could say teacher. Oh my God, I heard. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lisette, but I heard someone else. Yeah. Jennifer, right? Okay, do me a favor. Um, Jennifer, you help me with the number three. And, um, oh my God, Lisette with the number two. <laughs> Sorry, this is okay. Number two, Lizette, and number three, Jennifer. Thank you, girl. Okay. You're awesome. I'm, I'm trying, okay? Oh, yes, let's try uh, it. Our employees could be our employees, right? Our employees, right? Our employees, uh huh, could be could be a training. Mm-hmm. Could be a training. For uh -huh. for beneficial. Beneficial. Eh, aunque yo lo había hecho de otra manera, vea, pero. 
Okay, uh, let's, employees, what, what is the other? Uh -huh. Employees could be a training for all beneficial. Could be a training. Mm -hmm. Oh, in our? Or, or, what about our? But I don't know. For our it's beneficial. Or... Like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Employees could be a training for our beneficial. Okay, let's see. What do you think, guys? Is that okay? Do you have any? Uh huh. The other, the other way, other form is a, a training for all employees will be a beneficial. A training for, for our employees, for, right? Yes. Could be. Could be. Uh -huh. Beneficial. 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 All right. Very good. In that case, uh, employees could be a training for our beneficial. Have other form teacher? Uh huh. I have different. Uh, really? A training could be bene mm -hmm. the beneficial for our employees. All right. Let's see. Thank you. Is that the way that you have it, Christian? Yes. A training could be. Uh, a, a training could be uh, beneficial for our employees. All right. Well, okay, let's see. Let's check the number one. Employees could be a training for our beneficial. Here, um, because of the structure is, is not the best option, maybe if we modify this, it can, uh, we can keep it, right? Maybe we say employees could be trained, trained for our beneficial. In that way, we can keep it. But since we have a training, that's the reason why cannot, we cannot keep it. But we can say employees could be trained, okay? Este could be trained, guys, es otra estructura. Ya no sería el could be y el would be, ¿sí? Pero sí es muy similar porque acá está diciendo pueden ser entrenados, ¿sí? Para nuestro beneficio, ¿ok? But since we don't have trained, but we have training, that's where we can keep it. Pero para que vayamos jugando y para que vayan viendo de que ustedes pueden hacer diferentes tipos de oraciones con unos, con um, diferentes tipos de patterns, ¿verdad? Por eso estoy dando este ejemplo. Pero si vamos pegado a las palabras que tenemos acá, no podríamos hacer esto. Pero podría ser una opción. Solamente que en vez de training, tenemos que modificar train para que quede bien estructura gramatical. All right? So, thank you very much, guys. Now, let's compare the other ones. A training for our employees could be beneficial. And a training could be beneficial for our employees. For me, both of them are fine. For me, both of them are fine. They are in a good uh, grammar structure. I don't see a problem of putting the both both forms. So for me, both of them are, are okay. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. For me, it's fine. Either or. Either or means o eso o el otro. ¿verdad? Esta opción o la otra opción. Either or. Either or are fine for me. Okay. So, lo podemos dejar de dos maneras. Questions about these guys? Questions? No questions? Okay. Let's go with the number three. 
who can help me with the number three? A volunteer. Working, working less hours will be another benefit. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Working less hours, right? Less hours, yes. Working less hours. Uh huh. Will be. Will be another. Another benefit. 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 Okay. Uh, very good. Do you have it like that, guys? Lo tienen así todos? Sí. Guys. No. Maybe. I have a difference. Oh, give me yours. Let's see. Another benefit will be working less hours. Um, let's see. Working less hours will be another benefit. Another benefit would be working less hours. Yes, Chris. Yes. Both of them are correct. Okay. Good job. So it can, it can be saying both ways. Let me put it here. Guys, um, while we fix this, I want to ask you in Spanish, what is the meaning of will be and could be in Spanish? Guys? Podría. Podría ser. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Podría ser. Very good. Si yo les pregunto cuál es más certero que el otro, el would be o el could be, what is the answer? Would be. Would be is. Es más certero que el could be. Yes. Yes. yes sí. Perfect. Guys, um, voy a buscar esa imagen que tengo de los modal verbs. No sé si en algún momento los han visto, pero los modal verbs tienen un cierto degree, ¿ok? De qué tan probables sean unos con otros. Entonces, eh, o qué tan uh, polite, saying, see, I don't know if you remember, but we have, for example, can, uh, we have can, we have may, we have could, and would you mind? Eso lo llamamos last course. Esos son modal verbs. Entonces, si nosotros ponemos esos cuatro modal verbs, hay uno que es más educado, más formal que el otro. Entonces, va subiendo y dependiendo Eh, con qué persona usted está tratando, en qué ambiente usted está, usted lo va a aplicar. ¿Sí? Yo puedo decir, um, can you bring me soda? That's like less polite. I can say, may you bring me soda? Ok. También ya vamos para arriba, ¿verdad? Más polite decir, may you bring me soda? And then I can say, could you bring me soda? Okay, or I can say, would you mind bringing me soda? Okay, y ahí ya es el más polite. All right. Polite means um, educado, okay, el, el más como, el que más usted puede utilizar en un ambiente más eh, refinado, en un ambiente donde usted debe tener más educación, por así decirlo. Comparando environments o comparando ambientes puede ser eh, cuando usted esté con sus amigos o cuando esté con su jefe, por ejemplo. Usted va a ser more, more polite, more polite whenever you are with your boss or whenever you are at, uh, in your job. Okay, but whenever you're with your friends, you are less polite. More polite, less polite. Okay? Sí? Estamos bien? So, eh, les traigo ese ejemplo just to reconfirm that it would be y el could be en eso se diferencian. Si yo digo, I would be 
the best seller in the year. I would be the best seller in the year, uh, of the year is here. Okay. Hay más probabilidad. Si yo digo, I could be the best seller in the year, puede ser un poquito más para acá. Ok. Quiere decir que esto es más pro, menos probable el could be que el would be. Esa es la difference. Other than that, we use could be and would be uh, to give impression of possibility in the future. All right. So let's go with the number four. If you don't have questions, number four. Who can help me with the number four? Number four. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Okay, I will choose one person here, Luis. Uh, what is, could you please help me with the number four, Luis? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm good. <laughs> I have to do this. Um, weekend of will be. Weekends of, right? Weekend of. Oh my God, one second, because <laughs> it's not. Okay, here is working. Weekends of would be. Mm -hmm. Will be. Will be a good option. Mm -hmm. A good option. And to have. Mm -hmm. A happy staff. A happy staff. Period, right? Weekend staff would be a good option to have a happy staff. Very good. What do you think, guys? That's okay. That's Are okay? Who Are does that? Fine. It's okay. Great job, Luis. Thank you. Okay. So what about number five, Julio Cesar Merino? Could you please help us? Number five. Good evening, teacher. Um, Good evening. Uh, How are you? Good evening. Um, fine, thank you. What Great. about you? Fine, thank you. Thank okay. you for asking me, Julio Cesar. Aquí lo estábamos extrañando que no nos había hablado. Estaba calladito. Okay. And teacher, <laughs> um, Yes, in, in, in really, teacher, it's, it's, this topic is very, very hard for me. And I, 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 I can't know, I can't. Um, oh, I would like to ask you a question. Um, Julio, is it difficult for you, the topic I itself? It might be true, it might be true. Oh, solamente quiero yes, preguntarle, um, Julio, I, I, Ay, perdón que lo interrumpí. Le quiero preguntar algo. Yes, yes. Eh, no ¿Está difícil el tema de could be and would be o está difícil el ejercicio no. de ordenar las yes, palabras? Yes, the exercise. The exercise. Um, ah, okay. Uh, I was, uh, always, uh, for me, it's hard. Uh, la vez pasada le envié ahí a su correo. Es que créame sí, que todo lo que tengo, todo lo que tengo es estar con ustedes. Esto es lo que me, como que me hablan en chino. Realmente se lo digo así, In sinceramente. <laughs> no, yes. don't worry, Julio. The sorry, more sorry, that we teacher, practice, sorry. the more that we will learn, ¿ok? Lo más I, I, que practiquemos, feel, lo más I, vamos a aprender. No se preocupe. I feel sorry. No, it's fine. No, 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 don't say sorry. Thank you for okay. sharing that with me, ¿ok? Gracias por, yes. por compartir eso. <clears throat> Ayer hablaba con okay. Daniel y le decía que es muy importante saber para mí estas cositas, ¿ok? Por muy pequeñas que sean, créanme que es muy importante. O aunque ustedes digan, ay, no me da pena decirle, no, guys. Porque de esa manera uno se va dando cuenta cuáles son los ejercicios. Ay, I don't know what's going on with my computer, pero ok. ¿Cuáles son los ejercicios que um, les está costando? Porque podemos practicar más en esos ejercicios, ¿sí? Podemos ahondar más del tema, 
Eh, y así sucesivamente. ¿Para qué? Para que esos cuatro skills del inglés estén desarrollados al máximo. ¿Ok? No solamente vamos a hablar, no solamente vamos a escribir, sino que también tenemos que entender el idioma mediante listening y saberlo leer, ¿verdad? El momento que usted lo esté leyendo, lo entiende. Entonces, las cuatro tienen que ir juntas. Así que, thank you, Julio. Ah, vamos a intentarlo. Okay. ¿Qué le parece, Julio? Intentámoslo. Yo sé que it might be difficult. Mi recomendación toda la vida, Julio, para esto. Sorry that I switched to Spanish is that you follow a pattern or you follow a formula. You always follow a formula. For example, here, the formula will be a subject, okay, subject plus um, verb, and the verb will be, could be or would be, right? Cualquiera de los dos puede ser. Would be or could be. Could B. Okay, later on we have subject plus verb plus complement. Okay? Yes? Okay. So let's follow that structure. Let's follow that pattern or that form. I mean, that formula. Sigamos esa formulita ahorita y hagamos esto. Intentémoslo así, a ver si. It works better. So let's look for the subject. Great okay, of inventory. Aha, Maria, very good. Yes, Maria. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the bear is. Would be or inventory? could be. Inventory. Mm, what is the bear? Could be. In this case, ah, en este caso, be. como lo estamos practicando esta estructura. Va a ser could be and would be, pero van could. a haber casos, guys, exacto, van a haber casos donde usted va a decir, ok, tengo estas palabras, ordénelas y no le están diciendo en qué tiempo. Entonces ahí hay que ver, ok, qué verbo le vamos a poner. Si vemos uno, dos, cuál es el verbo auxiliar, cuál es el verbo principal y así. Ahí creo que, pero es más avanzado, pero por el momento vamos poco a poco. Así que, ¿cuál va a ser el verbo? Could be. Could be, very good. Could be. Vamos a intentarlo. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, then we will try the other way. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> Maria uh, could be. Of 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 great inventory. Maria could be. Inventory. Inventory. Sure. Inventory. Oh my God. Don't worry, it's fine. Sure. <laughs> Marcos, Antonio, usted no va a ayudar, ¿ok? María, would, could be Marcos, Antonio. ¿Alguna idea que nos pueda dar? I Any idea? Any idea, Marcos? Okay. Uh, yo estoy igual que el compañero. <laughs> no, but try it. No diga no, uh, diga no puedo, diga I will try. So, Marcos, dígame. Eh, siguiendo esa fórmula que tenemos arriba, subject, verb, el verbo puede decir could be and would be and complement. ¿Cómo podríamos hacer esa oración? María could be, voy a ir tachando las que ya hicimos. María could be. Bye. ¿Qué más le podemos poner? Marcos. Uh, I, I think, teacher, I think uh, Maria could be um, could be the department of the department sure. Healthy inventor and healthy in be? department. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Uh, Hel okay. The department. Mm. I'm still, okay. Lo vamos a hacer así, después vamos a ir viendo. Maria could be help. The department. In? In department. 
in the department. In the department, uh, okay. But what of about of, of great inventory? Of great inventory. inventory. Okay. I believe we can modify it. Como lo podríamos modificar? Oh my God, lo dejé de hacer. Sorry. Uh -huh. María podría ayudar en el departamento con un gran invento. Mm, fíjese que podría ayudar, tal vez no, porque vaya, acuérdese que el could be, el would be es, eh, sí podría, ¿verdad? Podría, pero va compuesto con el verbo to be. Entonces Ayudar ahí... Por mí. Por mí es María could be great help in the inventory of the department. Could be? Could be great help in the inventory of the department. Great help? In the department, department of inventory. In the... What about inventory department? What about that? Maria of the department be... of... Let, oh, there's missing Maria all, right? Maria could be great help, great help, great help in, in the inventory the... of the department. Could be great help in the... Maria could be in the inventory great. of the department. The great. Could be the great help of the department. Sorry, sorry, que estaba escuchando a alguien más y lo estaba analizando. So, Maria could be great help in the inventory of the department. Is that right? What do you think the other ones, guys? Julio César? Repeat to... Bueno, repite dos veces el D. Oh, yes, you're right. Maria could be great help... Only, only of department. Department. Mm, no, I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> Guys, ayúdenme con esa. A ver, ¿cómo podemos hacerlo? Yo sé que. In the department of inventory. Oh, in the department. In the, aha, Mabel, let's see. In, in, the, the, in the department of inventory. There you go, inventory. The, give me just a moment, guys. Deme un segundito, please. Sorry que los, in, que me interrum, que los interrumpa. Perdónenme, pero me está mandando algo que hoy. So what do you think? Is that better? Is that better? Maria could be great help in the department of inventory. No? Yeah. Any other idea? No other idea. Guys, I love grammar. <laughs> yeah. Eso es lo que me gusta de gramática a mí. Y los demás no, okay. teacher. Eso es lo que a mí no me gusta. <laughs> Marcos, dígame. Sería María Colby. Colby. Great in the, in the department of inventory. Ajá, así como está ahí, ¿no? ¿No? Sorry. Así como está no. ahí, ¿no? Eh, help great. No help great. great. Help. Sería help great. O sea, invertido, no. 
No. Mm, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Dígame. Other option could be the help of Maria could be a great in the inventory department. The help of Maria could be great. Great in the inventory department. I love your ideas, guys. <laughs> Fíjense que sí, el que está haciendo, eh, el que está haciendo, el que hizo Daniel me gusta mucho. Ya lo pongo. Deme nada más un segundo. Okay. Fíjense que yo veo que hay una letra de más. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fíjense acá. Um, El off está, está puesto ahí, no en the right position, porque yo, eh, no es que Mabel, fíjense que el de Mabel, sí, la idea de Mabel, ahí vamos. María could be great help in the department of inventory. Es que en inglés, guys, nosotros no decimos así como department of, es el departamento de, no, sino que hacemos eh, lo de compound nouns. Porque en, en vez de decir Department of Inventory, yo digo Inventory Department, Sales Department, ok, etc. Primero pongo el adjetivo y después el nombre, ¿all right? Por eso es que es Inventory Department. Entonces, le voy a borrar el off. Así como se los había dicho anteriormente yo, Inventory Department. ¿Y dónde le podemos poner el off? A ver, ayúdenme, please, help me. After could be. Mmm, Could be a wow, a round of applause for Lisette and for all of you también, para todos, porque todos ayudaron para esto. Yes. yes, Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. There you go. That was difficult, that was challenge. Yes. Um, Very good, guys. Any question regarding this exercise? Do you like it or you didn't like it at all? Tell me. <laughs> Did you learn? So <laughs> hard. <laughs> but you will continue learning, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Huh? Si eso fuera la prueba de top, me quedo. No. Y de final examen. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. All right, look, you did an amazing job, okay? Those are complicated uh, exercises and you will be able to solve it, okay? Don't worry, you did it awesome. But I would like to ask you a question, guys. Um. I would like to ask you, was it understandable could be and would be the structure itself? Probablemente el ejercicio está un poco complicado, pero la estructura de could be and would be es entendible? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Guys, um, let's see. Are you copying this or should I delete it? Mm -hmm. uh, I take a screenshot. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me then um, stop sharing and I will make group, I mean, pairs. Voy a hacer parejas ahorita para hacer este ejercicio que es prepare a two minutes presentation about the benefits you will bring to a new company and if you have the opportunity to work in it. One second. Ya se los mandé el día de ayer este ejercicio. I sent it to you uh, yesterday. Voy a hacer los breaker rooms. Oh my God. Yes, I have it here. Okay, uh, let's prepare the two minutes presentation. I want a presentation, guys, with your corner about the benefits you will bring to a company. Ayer le dije, imagínense que ustedes están tratando de aplicar para 
para una posición, pero están intentando en pareja, quiere decir que su pareja también tiene que quedar. ¿Cómo ustedes le venderían la idea de, de ustedes? ¿Qué beneficio usted les trae a la compañía? Let's suppose that I am um, the, recu the recruiter, ¿ok? So, parte de reclutamiento y dependiendo de su presentación yo lo voy a contratar. All right, both of you. Así que vamos a trabajar en eso 10 minutes only. Escriban sus ideas de lo que van a decir, mitad cada uno. Julio en Daniel, for example, usted va a decir la mitad de sus beneficios que usted va a traer y la mitad de los beneficios de Daniel para formar una presentación. Rapidita, sencillita, ok? Not too long, all right? So, using would be and could be. All right? Y todos diciendo, I would be, I would be, right? <laughs> Traten de utilizar aunque sea un could be, all right? So, um, let me make the breaker rooms right now. And before going to the breaker rooms, I will go through the attendance list, guys. Allow me just a moment so that I will create the breaker rooms right now. And then I will go through the attendance list, okay? Before you go. Yes? Yeah? For example... Huh? Un ejemplo, un ejemplo. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, one example would be. Uh, let's see. Give me just a second. I'm opening the rooms. An example would be. Um, hello, everybody. No, no, that would be regarding your recruiter, right? I am presenting with uh, Jaime right now. Jaime, you're my partner. We are applying for being um, teachers, okay? In, in, in one institution, yes? So what I will do is that I will, pres I will, I will introduce myself and I will say what I could do, what I will do All right, the, the benefits that I will bring for this company, okay? For example, I can say, I could, I could bring, well, I could be, sorry, I could be the teacher. Una oración le voy a dar. I could be the teacher that can bring um, a lot of new strategies for teaching um, English to children from home. Okay, that will be one of my strategy or one of the things that I, I, I bring as a benefit to the company. Okay, Jaime, for example, you can say another strategy using or uh, sorry, another benefit that you bring with the, to the company using could be or would be. Pueden decir dos o tres. Utilizando el would be, el could be. Mm -hmm. Is that better, Marina? Más que todo, como, como, como irme diciendo, ok, hacer una presentación y presentarse usted. ¿Cuáles son sus, su, sus beneficios que usted va a traerme a esta compañía? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Utilizando el would be y el could be. ¿Cuáles son sus beneficios? Ah, eh, yo puedo ser ese, 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 esa persona que traiga nuevas estrategias para las ventas, ¿verdad? He escuchado que la compañía es una de las mejores en vender ese tipo de productos o uh, puedo tratar de, de traer, perdón, puedo, puedo ser esa persona, I could be that person that bring um, new strategies for selling online, for example. Okay? okay, that will be one okay. example. You can say another one, a second, a second one, or a third one. And that's it. Okay. And then, okay, uh, Jaime will continue, right? And then Jaime presenters, and that's it. Okay, okay. pueden hacer tres nada más por cada uno o dos. Short, okay. short, okay? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, I will make the, 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 the rooms right now. Just allow me one second.
guys, antes que se unan a la, al break room, uh, voy a pasar la lista, ok, antes que se unan. Así que no les den join todavía, porque voy a pasar la lista ahorita, all right? Just one moment, let me go through the attendance list. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. One second, because I don't find you. Oh my God, where are you? Oh, here you have. Ángel Estefanía Marroquí Martínez. No está Ángel aquí. Uh, Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present, teacher. Maestela Mabel Oriana Encid. Estela Mabel, Oriana Encid. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Guys, mientras estamos... Present. Uy, ¿quién dijo present? Jaime, right? Jaime, yes. Uy, Jaime. Sí, present. Present. Right here, ah, ok, ya decía yo que no le conocí la voz. Ok, sí, es Jaime, es Jaime. Um, oh, yes, Mabel, thank you. Lo que les iba a mencionar es lo siguiente, guys. Tratemos, porfa, de hacer sus ideas ahorita. Las ideas que usted van a, a, a implementar para la presentación y cuando ya eh, lo, nos juntemos con las parejas, vamos a unir las ideas, ¿ok? Tratemos de ahorita traer las ideas para ya irnos un poco preparados al momento de, de hacerlo con la pareja, ¿ok? Mientras paso la lista, please, guys. Jennifer Noemí Mata Aragón. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Jonathan, uh, Julio César Ramírez, Julio César Merino González. Present, Present, Julio Merino. Ok, great. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Thank you, Julio. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. 
Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvina Alexis Hernández Flores. Osvin, Alexis. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mitri. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present, teacher. Ok. Present, escucho, teacher. Teacher, sorry. Eh, tenía el, el micrófono en mute. Ok, don't worry. Um, a mí me Osbin, escucha, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, Fátima, Osbin. thank you. Great, thank you, Osvin. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer los breaker rooms, guys. Las ideas que ustedes ya tenían. Sorry for my camera. Eh, tratemos de unirlas ahorita en pareja. Voy a hacer las parejas ahorita, ok? Thank you, guys. Solamente denle en click en join, all right, guys? Click en join. Click and join, guys, please. I don't have this option, teacher. Oh, sí, todavía los estoy agregando, sorry. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Sí. sí, es que los demás que no los he agregado no se habían um, unido yet. Okay. Jonathan es, un, es listener, Julio César Ramírez también, Linda también, Marcos Amil Carno y Marcos Antonio, no, right? Ok, solamente, ok, click en join, guys, please. Coordinator who was speaking. 
No sé cuántas ya. Hola. Ah, uh, pero te decía, eh, I could be a coordinator who can contage contagious others and great enthusiasm. ¿Cómo, cómo? No te entiendo. Sí, te entiendo sí, lo que me dice en inglés, pero las últimas dos palabras, las dos palabras en español de la gente. <risa> este, como un coordinador que llene de entusiasmo a todos. <risa> ah, ok. Will, will be a coordinator who can contagious este entusiasmo to other one. Ah, la like verdad. Uh -huh. I... Will be a coordinator. Maybe for to be one and two. Uh, the, about teamwork, teamwork. Uh, who, who can who, uh, could be? Could. Podríamos combinarlo. Después de. Bueno, saludos, pero podríamos empezar en eh, ser unas personas capaces de desarrollar las actividades con responsabilidad y ya luego lo que usted colocó eh, por su experiencia en el, en el manejo del efectivo y en el análisis de las cuentas de efectivo. No sé si empezamos con su primera idea. Después de decir esa parte del efectivo, eh, ya, ¿Cómo me ya dice, podríamos poner. ¿Cómo me dice al principio que le habías puesto? Somos las personas, somos, eh, somos las personas capaces de desarrollar las actividades con el mejor ánimo y responsabilidad. Podríamos ser las personas que se necesitan y ser capaces de cumplir los objetivos de desarrollo. Pero, Hasta ahí es una parte. Que necesitan para Entonces, le pu vaya, eso que me dijiste, es, le puse, we could be the people they, they need to meet the development goals. <ríe> sería lo que me dijiste, que seríamos las personas capaces de cumplir con la, los objetivos de, ajá, de la empresa. La empresa. Um, con los objetivos de desarrollo que me dijiste. De desarrollo. Eh, le podemos agregar este I can work, que sería podemos, bueno, I, I can, I can. Sí. Check, check, uh, check, uh, new, re, re, new, revi, new, revisar. Ajá, uh, new, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Compañeros, <laughs> new worker. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, uh, uh, le digo para que le agregue un poquito, un poquito más, ¿verdad? Ok, uh -huh. ok. Digo, si sí, sí puede o si quiere. Eh, de, de employees quizás tendría que 
She will and she 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 will be um she will be um let me say say example uh, teacher I have a question when um cuando quiero llamar así como un ejemplo de persona o a seguir cómo podría ser ¿Cómo, Jaime? Sorry. Este, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, uh, es una persona como, como ejemplo a seguir. Oh, that's a role, uh, a role model. That's... Oh, he is or she is a role model. Ahorita she se lo is. mando. Can you spell that, please? Un modelo a seguir. Role, como role model. Role? Role, role model. Uh -huh. Ahorita se lo mando en el chat. R-O-A-L-D-D. It's going to be R-O-L-E. Ajá, uh -huh, role. And space, model, M-O-D-E-L. Model, como modelo. Model. Mm -hmm. Ahí se lo manda en el chat. No sé He's a role model. Role model. model. Ah, role. Role model. role model. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will be role model. It will be or is an in a person. Oh, so basically he could be or he will be a role yeah. model. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. She will be role, a role, a role model. model. Exactly. Very a role good. Model. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and to the and I, uh, Jaime, uh -huh. or is, the, is very intelligent.
Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. Okay, hello. Hello, are you ready? Yes? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. I'm sure because my cover, my cover, my partner. Your partner? That uh, had the, has a, a problem because it's this, the storm is hard. I can't hear nothing <laughs> because it's very noisy. Oh. Teacher, you are on mute. Sorry, uh, so let's go ahead and try to get the job for both, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I okay. Think. All right. So who wants to start, guys? Me. Good. Thank you, Ezekiel. Go for it. It's Ezekiel and, and partner. Uh, my partner is Christian. I think All it's one right. Christian. <laughs> yes, it's Christian. Just one Christian. Uh, no. <laughs> we... Um, there we Sport go. Sport coordinator. Sport coordinator. All right. We Perfect. apply to uh, an employee to sport coordinator. Okay. Perfect. Let's do it, guys. Uh, Christian, you're first. Okay. I am talking with the with the with the principal of the school. Uh, hello, Mr. Ceballo. I will be a sport coordinator who will develop the sport at the student level. I will be a coordinator seeking a sport sheet for better sport facilities. And I will be a sport coordinator who will speak English every moment. So I will be a coordinator who can contagious enthusiasm to other one and could be a great team player. And I will be a helper to develop sport abilities into the students. And that's Mm, yes, very good, guys. You are hired today, all right? You start tomorrow, all right? <laughs> all right, very good, guys. Choose another person. No, you got it. You got you, it. Fire, say. <laughs> no, you, you're hired. <laughs> okay. Let me <laughs> Marco Antonio. All right, Marcos Antonio and Marcos Amilcar. <laughs> My group is Marcos. Marcos one, Marcos two. Okay. Um, <laughs> number one. Uh, I will be excellent sellers for my for my enterprise. Uh, the beneficial I win I win one thousand dollar for me. The benefit the beneficial and the, the beneficial will be my boss. Uh, number three, and uh, I could be a good manager in my in my work group, in my work group, 
um, um, organize organize in the in the in my work of good of good event. The beneficiar the beneficiar uh, is my boss because he has more clients. But enterprise, no more. <laughs> Very good, Marcos. Okay. Teacher, uh, what does mean enterprise? What does it mean enterprise, Marcos? I I have a, I have a, I have here in Star Trek, <laughs> but I don't know what, what that means. <laughs> Marquitos, what does it mean? Ah, <laughs> it's raining. It's the company. It's a company. An empresa. It's the name. It's the name of a company. No. no. Enterprise means company or empresa. It's the same. Yes. It's the same. Oh, it's a subject. I can say exactly the enterprise is big, la empresa grande. Sí, podría decir así. You're right, Sabrina. Okay. You're right. Mm -hmm. okay. The enterprise is big. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know. I... Start my tocayo. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> um, hello, good evening. My name is Amilcar. I am a structure cable technician and installer. If you give me the opportunity uh, to be part of your work team, it could be a good option to improve customer service and also co uh, coordinate, coordinate work orders in the best way. It could be a help for future del deliveries of equipment or materials. Thank you. Wow, guys, congratulations. You got the job, very good. Very, very good, all right. Marcos Amilka, choose another person. Okay, okay, vamos a ver aquí la ruleta. Uh, Luis Antonio. Okay, Luis. Luis and partner. Luis. Hello, hello. Luis, ¿dónde está Luis? Oh my God, no lo veo. No, he's o not here. She's another person. O Sabrina tendrá, tendrá ganas de presentarse. Yes, <laughs> tendrá ganas. Very Thank good. You, Very Marcos. good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, in uh, it did with my partner. Two reasons why the person should be the first and second and I will say the third and the fourth. Yes, teacher. Uh, with my with my knowledge about clothing, the company will increase the profit, the profit. 
with my experience, uh, I will be training trainer to other employees. Continue, Thank you. Number three, with my with my knowledge in English, the company could expand in the American market. And number four, with our experience in our organization, we will be responsible of big projects. Thank you. You are higher. Very good. Higher. <laughs> Very good, guys. Okay. Ausbin, could you please choose another person? Jonathan. Jonathan is a listener today. Another oh, person? Linda Magali. Okay, Linda Magali is a listener. Sorry, Osvin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Estela Mabel. Estela Mabel. Okay, let's okay. do it. Thank you. And my partner is. Uh, my partner, where, what is? <laughs> Jaime. Jaime. Okay, Jaime. No, no, I know your, no. your name, but I, no. I don't, no. I don't see you. Okay. Uh, sorry, the uh, <clears throat> here is uh, raining. Okay. okay. Uh, no problem. Good, good evening. Okay. Good evening. Uh, we are uh, Marel and Jaime, which will be the best option for this company because we are a great team. We will be a creative team. Marel will be our excellent secretary because she writes a report, organizes meeting, and proactive person. She will be a role model. Thank you, Jaime. Jaime, Jaime is very intelligent. He could be a great help to this company because he can speak English. His abilities could be a big help to communicate with another countries. Thank you. You're hired, guys. You. Congratulations. Very good. All right, Mr. Avelar, could you please choose another person? Okay. Um, um, Fatima. Fatima Denise. Okay, Fatima. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, the reason to hear me and Marielos is because we could be the people they need to meet development goals and because our experience will be a great asset to the company. We can work together what the team in the area and um, consolidate ideas and the, the company to be one of the best in the field. Thank you. Sorry for my camera, um, for my microphone. Congratulations, girls. Good job. Could you please choose another person? You're hired, by the way. <laughs> wow, guys, you are awesome. You're on fire today. Everyone is on fire. Fatima, could you please choose another person? Um, Lisette Del Carmen. Yes, Lisette wants to do it. Let's do it, Lisette. 
Okay, hello to and everyone. My partner is Martinez. And tonight we share work for a textile industry and together are a, a great team. Um, I show you the benefits of hiring for your company. First, I lot of knowledge. Uh, give a great quality for your production. I could keep better control of reports for your company and I could shape the pollution in the process and in the process. If you want to have a quality and a style in your company, you need to finish now. My body okay. is. Uh, we are in, we are we are to try to find a new job. Uh, uh, my offer today is because uh, we are to apply, we are to apply a textile industry. Uh, my name, my name is Daniel, I am pattern designer. I could be if the, if this industry hearing me, I could be a hard worker. I could be a developer, whatever kind of clothes. I could be mm. apply my experience. Yeah, maybe I could be an excellent instructor for a new employees. Thank you. Great job, guys. Congratulations. Very good. Thank you. Good job. You're higher. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Thank who's you. next? Thank you. Who's next, guys? Who is missing? Julio Cesar is missing. Julio Cesar Marino and who else is missing? Marina Me. Vanessa. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's do it. Um, guys. Julio. Okay, teacher. Stop. Okay. Um, my name is Julio Marino. And Miss Almos. And um, is you heard me? Um, uh, the benefits uh, that could bring to to your company. Um, do it to. My experience, um, I can cutting cutting out markets, present the that that cool cool benefit your company in sales in sales, and um, you your company will 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 and uh, benefit from the front test studies. Yes. My parent is Vanessa, Maria Vanessa. Okay. Thank you, Julio. My name is Vanessa Vasquez. Uh, the position is the human resource staff. And I could be a person that organize the documents. I could be the check the files employees. I will be to create and write documents. The benefits uh, or organize uh, documents and files of employees. That's it. Only teacher. Very good, guys. Congratulations. Who's missing? Hearing me. Nobody else you is missing, me? right? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yes, I hire you. <laughs> Nobody else is missing, guys? No, right? Okay. Tomorrow, sir. 
<laughs> okay, yes, we will start tomorrow. Guys, congratulations, you did an amazing job, okay? Look, I know that sometimes there are some activities that we take more time than that we expect. But believe me, sometimes there are activities that are important uh, for you, guys, for you to start speaking. So even though we take a long time for this activity, I believe that that's the purpose that you are practicing, okay? And thank you very much, you did it awesome okay now guys before to go because i know there is missing like around nine ten minutes um i will ask you to please go to the page 13 okay go to the page 13 on the book we have a conversation there um and this conversation is about the topic that we have for today um the topic that we actually have for today is the how to use time expressions all right it's a little bit easy all right don't worry this is the class number three by the way but yes we will talk about time expressions right what now page? um sorry page 13 13 mm -hmm. page 13 <clears throat> let me look it up here page 13 is this one okay so um this is the page 13 and we have a conversation here guys this is one of the most important questions that we have and is tell me about your work experience that is one of the questions that you have um been asked in the interviews right i don't know if you remember that but that's one of the questions that always that, that the people always ask you. Tell me about your work experience. And guys, that is an important question that you need to answer 100% for you to get the job. Okay. So that is the reason I asked you to watch the video for uh, polity, por policies, for policies in our company. We cannot watch the video right now. Uh, but I will ask you that uh, to watch it later on in case you haven't watched it. And for the ones who watch the video, guys, I thank you very much for watching it, okay? But my uh, recommendation will be to watch it if you have time, okay? Okay, okay teacher. All right. Let me get a second. Um, I'm just looking to this video so I can resend it to you. <clears throat> Se lo voy a reenviar el video para que lo vean después. Pero guys, watch it, okay? Because in any time you might have an interview in English, all right? I know I'm pretty sure that in order for you to get a better job or it's I don't know, any any other opportunity that you have in the future, you will have a, a, an interview in English. And this video is going to be really helpful, okay? So that's why I share with you that video. Tomorrow, we will talk about the video. Vamos a hablar mañana del video, así que véanlo como tarea, please. So, this is a conversation between Julio, Julio and Ana, okay? Um... Let's see, Daniel, could you be uh, could you be my volunteer for practicing this conversation? Do you want Maybe to be my yes. volunteer or do you want to be Julio? And then I am Anna? Yes, I will volunteer. Oh, go, no. okay, I like Julio. Him. I like him. <laughs> Great, Julio and Daniel. Let's do it, Julio and yes. Daniel. Daniel, Julio, you okay. start. You okay. start. Okay. I am Julio. Oh, no es cierto. <laughs> no, Daniel. Es Julio. Mal <laughs> mal okay, Julio. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Let's okay. do it, guys. Let's do okay, it. Tell me. Okay, Julio, start. You start, Julio. <laughs> okay, yes. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in these companies from. 2011 to 2015. 15. 
I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. Um, and what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And uh, you have a not, not work it since you you can you come back? No, really. I have done some independent independent shows, you know, but they have not been for long. Very good. Oh, wow. Very, very good, oh, right? My, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe you can work with me. <laughs> okay. So, guys, <laughs> let's repeat after me. Let's repeat after me, okay? Uh, everyone. I have, I have got that teacher. Oh, okay. Good teacher, yes. <laughs> yes, perfect. Repeat after me, everyone, guys. Um, I worked at Unilever, Unilever, sorry, for five years. I worked at Unilever for five years. I worked, I worked, I worked in this company from 2011 to, to 2016. I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. In Panama, I, sorry. I, I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. In English, the pronunciation is Panama. Sorry, in Panama. 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 In Panama. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, what happened uh, there? And you have not worked since you came back? Sorry, we, we are here. And you have not worked until you came back? And you have I have done some independent jobs, you know. Not I really have done some independent jobs, you know. I have done some independent jobs. Very good. All right. So, guys, um, this is a conversation about answering the question. Tell me about your work experience. Tomorrow, we will have a practice. Uh, we will create a conversation, a role play in pairs, uh, where you are going to be asked the question. Okay. Actually, um, that role play will be practiced in the break room. You won't present it here, but I want you to practice this answer. How to, how to answer that? After watching the video, the one that you have as a homework, I would like you to be prepared for you to answer that question, okay? So para mañana en el video les va a ayudar mucho. Prepárense con el video que van a ver o que ya vieron, prepárense y mañana les voy a dar tiempo al entrar a clase para que ustedes se preparen con esta pregunta. Y no lo vamos a hacer, guys, no solamente para esta clase, lo vamos a hacer para que de aquí en adelante usted esté preparado cuando le hagan esa pregunta en la interview. Tell me about your work experience. Vean el video, tiene consejos de cómo responder esa pregunta. Después de ver el video, prepárense alguna idea en su casa y si no, lo traen hasta el tiempo que les voy a dar 10 minutos mañana para que preparen esa respuesta y luego yo lo voy a poner en, en pareja para que ustedes practiquen su respuesta. Practiquen como que, ok, Marcos es my interviewer, ok, Marcos es mi, mi, el, el, el que me está entrevistando. ¿Cómo se lo voy a decir, guys? So, mañana vamos a tratar la manera de practicar, no una, inter una interview entera, 
pero que nuestro compañero nos ayude a practicar esas respuestas si en caso en algún futuro nosotros hacemos una interview en English. ¿Cómo vamos a decir esa respuesta? Y lo vamos a hacer con el fin de practicar y de saber qué va a decir en esa pregunta usted. Así que traten ustedes, no solamente para la clase, no solamente para la tarea, sino que para ustedes mismos, de ya empezar a planificar cómo decir la mejor respuesta en esa pregunta, pero en inglés, ¿verdad? ¿Eh? So, mañana vamos a practicar eso, para que eso les ayude a ustedes, guys, en su eh, conocimiento, ¿verdad? Y eh, en su experiencia, ¿verdad? Laboral, en caso que usted necesite responder esa pregunta en algún momento. Imagínense mañana o esta semana o el otro me vaya a una interview y esta pregunta le sirva. So, Let's try to do it, alright? Vamos a hacerlo con ese punto de vista, ok, con ese enfoque, perdón, tomorrow. And um, let's see, let's continue then. Um, I would like, guys, to introduce to you uh, time expressions, ok? Time expressions. So, guys, let's see. Use four plus period of time. Four plus period of time. For example, let me go ahead and choose the annotate. Okay, use four plus a period of time. For example, I worked in Diana for seven years. So, el time expression o el, la expresión de tiempo, guys, se comprende desde acá, desde four as the years. ¿Ok? Y está conformado por el for, que ya dijimos for, y luego por el periodo de tiempo. Entonces, por eso, ese es uno de los time expressions que ocupamos mucho. For plus a period of time. I worked in Diana for seven years. I work, I can say, I watch TV for an hour. I took a shower for seven minutes, ok, so es un periodo de tiempo, cuando usted utiliza el for, va a ocupar un periodo de tiempo, a period of time, ok, that is one uh, time expression, for plus a period of time, yes, cuando ustedes escuchan time expressions, siempre tiene que haber, tiene que responder la pregunta cuando, when, el time expression lo responde, ¿ok? Next, uh, since plus specific points in the past. Specific points in the past, ¿ok? For example, I have worked, I have worked. Alguien que me diga, what is structure is this? What is structure is this, guys? What is the structure that we are um, seeing right now? Hmm? Present perfect. Wow, present perfect, very good. Okay, so yes, I have worked there since 2015. Sorry, 2005. So I have worked there desde, since 2005. El primero dice por siete años. El segundo desde 2005. All right, entonces acá el time expression es since 2005, okay? I have worked there since 2005, all right? So we use since plus a specific points in the past. I can also say, I have, uh, um, let's see, I have listened to music since 1 p.m., okay? Puede ser también, um, no solo años, no, not only years, pero also month or hours. No solamente el año. Puedo decir desde las 7, desde la mañana, desde mediodía, uh, desde, I don't know, since yesterday, etc. Ok. Since yo, since yo. Since I am John. Since I am John. Since I am John. Yes. Desde hoy. Yes, yes, porque es un specific point in the past. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Pero si puede incluir el año específico, that would be great. Okay? Pero yes, yeah. you can do it. You okay. can do that. All right? Oh, okay. Very good, Julio. All right. Yes, yes. Next. The other one is from. Okay? From is used to state the store and the end of time. For example, I stayed there from January to November. Okay? Para... Para nosotros poder decir desde cuándo hasta cuándo estamos haciendo algo o hicimos o vamos a hacer, I don't know. En cualquier estructura podemos aplicar esas time expressions. Guys, solamente que el since y el for se utiliza bastante en el present perfect, pero también en el pasado. Pero sí usted lo va a ver más en el presente perfecto. Pero ok, number three from, to stay the start and it end at the end, the end of time. I stayed there from January to November. From. I can also say we have classes from uh, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., right? I can also say that. See? I work from Monday to Friday. See? ¿Ven cómo vamos ocupando esto? Entonces, siempre que para, ver, para dar a entender desde cuándo comenzó una acción, hasta dónde. Pero más, básicamente ocupamos el from para eso, ¿ok? Next one. Use then to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in that company until 2011. Then I quit. Ok, estamos hablando de time expression cuando decimos luego yo renuncié. Yo trabajé en esa compañía hasta el 2011, luego yo renuncié. Este luego me está indicando tiempo y este es un time expression, ok. Y es utilizado para introducir un nuevo, un nuevo evento, ok. I work in that company until 2011, then... Punto, then I quit. All right? Time expression. And the last one, until. Until. Use until to mark the end of the activity or period of time. Es, esto significa hasta. Okay? Use until to mark the end of an activity or period of time. For example, I worked in Panama until my project was over. Okay, I worked in Panama until my project was over. Until my project was over is the time expression, okay? Porque me está indicando tiempo acá, hasta que mi proyecto finalizó. Yo dejé, yo trabajé en Panamá, Panamá, sorry. So, estos one, two, three, four, five words, guys, indican tiempo, por eso se llama time expression. ¿Y por qué son time expressions? Porque es una expresión larga que empieza con esa palabra, que indica tiempo. So, we have for, since, from, them, and until. Okay? Repeat after me, guys. For, Guys, could you please repeat after me? Four. Yes. Four. 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 Since. 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 I? Since. No. Since. 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 From. 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 Then. 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 Until. 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 Very good. Great, guys. So since time is over, uh, we will leave the class until now, until this topic. Tomorrow, we will continue with the role play. Um, the interview, okay? I mean, practice in the interview. Tomorrow we will continue practicing the interview that I mentioned to you already, and we will continue practicing this topic about time expression. All right? And um, guys, I hope you have an amazing night. Thank you very much for being with me in this class and for joining for your effort. Or, or oh, being here. <laughs> I just want to ask if Daniel Ezekiel 
uh, se quedó ayer conmigo. No, Daniel Ezekiel, could you stay with me today? Mm, pero es que Daniel no estaba en la casa. Daniel, usted no está en casa. Creo que no, yes, mejor no. No, mejor no. Mejor mañana, ¿le parece? Pero no lo quiero entretener. Eh, Estela Mabel, can you stay with me today? Ok, teacher. No, pero si algún momento usted, me, usted no puede, guys, dígame. Hacemos un swap con alguien más. Ah, ok, so, Estela Mabel, thank you. Let me go through the attendance list. Una vez lo mencionen, you can log out, ok? Have an amazing night, guys. Good to see you. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present. Bye, Daniel. Ezequiel. Bye. Okay. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sara. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Good Jennifer, good night. Take care. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Bye, take care. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Okay. Jonathan, Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Gente, Julio César Merino González. Que dice que ni tiene Hi, Taker. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. La policía le va a Bye, Taker, Julio. Kenny Luisette Cuer de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Bye, bye Kenny. Taker, Linda Magali García Montoya. Have a good night. Teacher. Thank you, Maggie. Taker. Bye. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Bye bye. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Have bye bye. Good night. Have a good night too, Marcos. Marcos Antonio Emelgar Pérez. Present teacher. Good bye, night. Marcos. Bye. Take care. Good night. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Bye bye, Marielos. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Take care, Osvin. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present, good night. Good night, Sabrina. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Good bye, night. Fátima. Good night. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández. Miss Smith. Present teacher. Bye bye, take care. Okay, let's see. Ah, no, no se preocupe. Daniel Ezequiel. Bueno, voy a decir de nuevo. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Ezequiel. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Uh, present. Thank you. Alguien más no lo mencioné, sorry. Me. Sorry, Marina, yo me acuerdo que sí, pero don't worry. Marina okay. Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Thank you, Marina. Good Have night. a wonderful night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Jennifer Noemi Mataragón. Yes, I mentioned you. Kenny Lizette as well. Jonathan Alexis as well. Okay. Hi, Mabel. How are you today? Hello, hello, Mabel. Hello, teacher. How are Hi, you? Hi, Mabel. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. What about you? How are you? Fine. Um, no, I'm fantastic. That's great. <laughs> Perfect. An in, in Spanish, <laughs> in a, in a capa capacitation. Really? <laughs> um, the, great. Um, facilitador? How do you say? Facilitator? Facility? A uh, facilitador, uh, right? Facilitator. Give us this expression. 
Oh, when someone fantastic. asks you, uh, how are you? You can uh, answer, I am fantastic. <laughs> you know it's what, difficult. Mabel? Yes, it's difficult. You know what, whenever you heard that, oh my God, <laughs> you uh, feel like you want to leave. I don't know why. <laughs> that makes sense. You tell me I'm fantastic and I want to say, wow, that's, I want to continue living. <laughs> I don't know why, but yes, that makes you feel like that. Yes, I, I, I got this. I mean, I got the feeling whenever you told me that I'm fantastic. Oh my God, I, I want to leave. <laughs> I, I, I am like, um, uh, continue living, right? <laughs> yeah, I understand. I love any um, movie, mm -hmm. but I don't remember about what country. It's um, Felicia Fortunada. Mm. It's nice. Felicia Fortunada. I see it. This is mm. the name? Yes, this is name. Felicia Fortunada. She lives a lot of things, bad things, and but she uh, mm. think in continues to be mm -hmm. happy and uh, fortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's is nice. that a is that a movie for kids? No. 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 Ah, okay. But I don't remember what is the country because it's not it, it's not USA. It's not USA. I don't remember what is. Dice que no. lo busqué y me apareció una caricatura, so I don't know, but thank you. Really? Um, yes, we are. I'm going to find and then I'm going to to send the name. With me. The, yeah. Yes, share it with me. But yes, whenever you say I'm fantastic, I was like, I was like, oh, I feel like leaving. <laughs> I feel like leaving, right? Or I feel like continue living. <laughs> no, that's great. I, I really, it really calls my attention that. And I will go ahead and um, continue like taking this example right the one that you told me right now and try to apply it i would like to apply it as i'm fantastic <laughs> yeah <laughs> even though you are not fantastic but okay i'm fantastic <laughs> i'm i'm going to try to be fantastic <laughs> exactly and everything you you have in your mind and everything that you mentioned i believe that at any point change your life right Yes. So it's, uh, we we say uh, good, fine, fine. Uh -huh, the same answer, right? I don't believe it. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you can't believe it. Like it is like it's not. You're not transmitting me something. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, you're not transmitting me. Okay, I'm fine. Um, I don't know if he's good or not, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Thank uh -huh. you, Mabel. Thank you. Uh, I learned that today from you and thank you a lot. And I would like to know, Mabel, if there's anything that I can do in your learning process. I want to say congratulations as well, because I know sometimes uh, you, had to look, you have to do a lot of things. As Sabrina said, you are multitasking. And even though you're <laughs> multitasking and you are doing a lot of things, you are always on time uh, delivering your homework. You're always on time. If you, I mean, you told me, you, you sometimes tell me, teacher, I won't be in classes. But whenever I ask, you always answer. <laughs> so I believe, no, she's not in classes anymore. She's with me now. <laughs> so all of a sudden you are here in classes. And believe me, even though you're doing something else, you are always on the same page. And that's why I want to say congratulations. So whenever you need more time to do something else, because I know you're studying as well, let me know. That works a lot for me because you are communicating with me if 
at in some reason in Sephora, someone else asked me something about you i know what you're doing and i know what to answer right so that's important for me and also you are really great in classes right i know you Thank are you. you have been doing well but there is always something that we can improve right and i would like to ask you if there is anything related with your skills listening and speaking uh writing reading anything that i can do that can help you right in order to improve your skills or continue I learning i love this your class because i love when you uh uh, tell us uh, you do it try it and I I don't know everything but I try to understand yeah. and I try to think in uh, some answer for the work in this moment and when you co cor me corrige? <laughs> I don't know when you, you give me feedback or you correct me? When you correct me, mm -hmm. I learn more. This oh, is more okay. important to me that I I I read it, I whatever thing. Uh, because I try to do it and if I I do it bad, I don't have problem because I, I learn more. You're learning when, exactly. Yes. When you, I learn more. Uh, when you tell us do it, please, and then we are going to do it uh, together. It's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. I learn uh, uh, with my partners. They are really, really intelligent, and and I try to to learn to uh, about about there, there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love your class oh, because it's you. not a, an exposition, it's a, a, a teach, a teaching. It's nice, it, it's good, this. Oh, <laughs> and great. I don't have a chain to speak whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I speak Spanish and English, a lot of <laughs> It's fine. Good or bad. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I know that uh, correcting someone or providing feedback is very important, Mabel. And sometimes I don't do it like in a way of pushing or stop or stop you in a way that you stop learning or you stop. Uh, you know expressing your idea at that moment mm -hmm. because I want that in any ways you you feel free to speak right even though later on I can give you the the corrections or the feedback sometimes I don't do it but it is because I know because I have experienced that I know that at the end of the day or at the end of this course at the end of the time you will learn you will realize yourself whenever you're practicing but whenever i can i always try to provide you feedback that have worked for me but sometimes i really i really want to hear my students to see if that works right <laughs> but yes because i have been uh, um in classes english classes a lot of english classes in my life that sometimes I feel a little bit frustrated, but I don't know if I am just, I mean, if it is just myself, that whenever we're talking, like, I, sorry, whenever I am talking and talking and I start talking and I'm inspired and everything, they stop me to correct me and then, okay, continue. And they stop me and correct me and then continue. I, I lost the track. I, I always lost the track and I cannot continue like that. So I don't know if my students are like that and I'm sorry that I bring this topic, but that's something that is from my perspective, but I don't know you as a student because I experienced that as a student and I didn't like it, but I like that at the end of the process, they correct me or provide me the feedback, right? Mm -hmm. 
And sometimes, uh, exactly, it's very important because mm -hmm. if you don't have the feedback or you don't have the correction, you never know what you're doing best, right? Yes. So thank you very much for saying and thinking this about the class. Believe me that, that this is what I like uh, because these classes, I mean, uh, online classes are difficult. Those classes yeah. are very difficult and very you need difficult. to be as much as interactive as you can because you are not face to face with your students, right? And yes, I'm also like that in person. I'm, 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 I'm I, I always love, you know, um, trying to do different activities, games, even though you are not children, but I love playing games with my students because at the end, there is always a purpose, which is learning, right? Practicing and all of this. So I try to do my best, Mabel, and I thank you because you recognize, you're recognizing that. And I really love that you love my classes. So, but if, but if there is any feedback, any comment, anything that you see, let me know. Because sometimes we as teachers, sometimes we don't see some things that you as students um, uh, see, right? In your every everyday learning, but if you have any anything to tell me, tell me because I really love that. That is the way that we can see things that we cannot see, right? So also that what you're doing right now, telling me what you like about the class, what really works for you, mm -hmm. help me as well because I can continue applying those strategies or I can continue, you know, applying the same activities. So that's why it's very important for me to talk with my students like that. And that's why I really love this program, you know, Mabel, because I have the opportunity to talk to you, right? That's what I really like. But Mabel, uh, besides this, is there anything that, that I can do extra for you? Any extra practice? Any, I don't know if you want to practice with me, practice, please. And now that we're talking about this, I just remember that there is a classmate um, that sent me a message today to practice and I couldn't answer because, oh my God, it was such a hard day today. But if that happens, my very sorry, but I will go ahead and Don't answer worry. him right now. <laughs> Don't worry, no, because we have a, a lot of things in the day in in, in the day <laughs> yes it's oh my god difficult. i feel embarrassed right now because i remember i have this measures and i haven't listened to that because of that but as i mentioned whenever i have time i will go ahead and practice with you okay, okay. but tell me if there's anything that i can do for you mabel any topic that might be a little bit difficult for you. You would like to have extra practice, maybe? Okay. Um, I have a lot of do, but I try to remember. But about these classes, mm -hmm. I don't have do. I have do about the classes too. <laughs> ah, okay. Do me a favor, Mabel. Yes, Which one? Clauses? Oh, yes, that's a difficult topic. I know, I know. Did you watch the extra videos I... that I sent to you before? Yes. Yes. Yes, please, please. I, I, I'm going to finish my cyclo, <laughs> my oh, first okay. cyclo in game university. <laughs> but wow, congratulations. <laughs> to, why? To, why? Why was that? To materials? Or the subjects, uh huh. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. But I have um, a two mat. Two, what 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 words is about mat material materials? Subjects, uh huh. Subjects, two subjects. Uh, pass. Mm -hmm. Two. <laughs> really. But I have five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what is going on with the other three? Uh, I don't know. Uh, still, I don't know. Oh, 
Mm, okay. But you didn't get the, the five subjects in the course? Yes. Ah, okay. But you finished the five of them or just two of them? Sorry, I didn't get that. I'm going to find uh, to. But I'm sorry. I'm going to finish this this next Saturday. Okay, next Saturday. Great. I, I have I have two exams. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday and Saturday, mm -hmm. and then I am free. You're done. Perfect. Congratulations, wow. Mabel. I really admire you because you're doing a great effort. Oh my God, and you're always there, multitasking and everything. I believe that if, if you stop doing this, oh my God, you won't continue doing this. You won't feel in the same. I have experienced that before. Like I was doing a lot of things and then I stopped. I stopped everything and I feel, I felt sorry, horrible. <laughs> Then I start missing everything. So at the end, you get accustomed to this because you you are um, keeping active all the time, keeping active. So mm -hmm. congratulations, Mabel. And what we will do is the following regarding the closest. Let's okay. review the class. I mean, let's review the, the presentation about that. Send me an audio in WhatsApp exactly or what you really have doubts about closes okay. and I will answer it. However, mm -hmm. since we are just starting the clauses, I mean, this is just like a 20% out of the 100% of clauses because there are a lot of classes. Yeah. Right now it's going to be difficult for you and it's normal, guys, because mm -hmm. it's we are just studying this topic. There are a lot of type of clauses. This will be understood until we see the 100%, right? However, if there might be something that we can clarify, I can do it. So you can continue mm -hmm. with that, that with the learning path of the clauses, right? Because clauses, as I mentioned, is a big topic. But... <laughs> Send me an audio about exactly what you have mm -hmm. doubts about. Okay. And I will be able to explain it to you. I will send you to you a video, an audio, if it is possible. All right. Actually, right now, Mavel, I will have time because I will go somewhere else. Right now, I need to travel to another city right now. <laughs> and I will have time. So take advantage of that and send it to me today if you okay. can, because I don't know if you're tired or you can. It can be another day. But right okay. now I will have time, like around one hour, like it's a free time for me to check that. And I will explain it to you in audio. OK. 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 Thank you. So thank you, Mamel, for your time. And I hope you have an amazing night. I will wait for your audio. OK. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Teacher. It's been a pleasure to talk to you and thank you for being such a great student, okay? Yeah, it's a pleasure to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and good luck with your subjects. I hope that everything will be great with that, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, Mabel, have a wonderful night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Take care too. <laughs> Bye, Mabel. Bye.